Hey there. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a rectangle using Visual Basic. So get started. I'll just uh, set up a Windows Forms app so we can take advantage of uh, Windows drawing functions. So let me just make the form a little bigger. So uh, in Windows Forms, we have a lot of events uh, available for the form. So most important at the moment is the paint event that I can use for uh, drawing on the form. So if, uh, here is the paint event. So I'll just double click to create the event handler. So I'll use this to write some drawing code. Uh, the other events I need are mouse events. So I want to track the mouse down, mouse move, and mouse up events so that I can use them for drawing. So, and I'll create a variable, Tim is mouse down as boolean in order to save the state of the mouse button. So whether it is down or up. So, on mouse down, I'll set is mouse down is equal to true, and on on mouse up, I'll say is mouse down is equal to false. So that's that, and uh, on the uh, and I want a uh, I want to create a rect as rectangle, so I can use that for drawing the rectangle. Uh, I can use uh, and in order to really draw the rectangle, I can use uh, form paint event and which provides uh, paint event args, and that contains the graphics object. And graphics object has those functions like draw rectangle. It uh, requires a pen, so I can simply use pen dot blue. So draw a blue rectangle and then use the rect object for drawing. It. So that's all I what I need in the paint event to draw that rectangle. So the other things are uh, let me show you a like basic demonstration how our rectangle will look like. So create new rectangle 100 100. Uh, so I want that to be at 100 uh, 100 location and then. I want it to be like 100 pixels uh, wide and uh, 100 pixels high. So, and I need to close these parentheses. So, run the program. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, there is our rectangle. At the moment, it's not doing anything. I cannot like, drag or like, draw it, but it's there. So, uh, but I don't want to draw a fixed rectangle I want to use a rect object so I can change its coordinates uh, dynamically so and uh, the other things uh, I want I can check is uh, on on mouse move or on mouse down so basically I want to initialize the location of a rectangle on mouse down so it's, it creates a starting point of that so say like rect dot location is equal to e dot location so which is the uh, e dot location is the location of mouse cursor and i want to set its uh, width equal to zero and height equal to zero so i don't want it to appear yet it will only appear when user uh, clicks or press the mouse button and drag it so in order to check whether user is dragging the mouse uh, i can check it is if it's mouse down, then uh, we can use uh, uh, we can uh, supply some code here to actually uh, change the height and width of rectangle based on user's mouse location. So rec dot width is equal to so, and I want to calculate the width. So uh, I can take the mouse location at e dot x and subtract the x of uh, the rectangle from that so it will give me the actual height of that similarly for um, width of us similarly for height e dot y is, uh, minus uh, rec dot 
Y. And let's run it. And let's see. It's not, I'm not able to draw anything. So uh, let's figure out what's wrong. One of the problem can be here. So uh, we have to call the invalidate method of the form. So this basically redraws the form. So try that again. Awesome. So you can see that now. Uh, and but if I click outside, it it does not disappear. I want it to be disappear according to like this code. So I just have to call the invalidate method here as well. So let's try that again. So here we go. We have our rectangle and disappears. But you can notice some flicker. Like right? it's not looking good. Like as I move the cursor, it flickers. So that's because uh, it's. Uh, the form is trying to redraw draw the rectangle as we move. Uh, it, there is a fix for that. We can make the form double buffered, so uh, it will basically draw the rectangle and uh, redraw into a buffer and immediately uh, draw from that buffer that can improve drawing performance. Go to form properties and check the double buffer to true. And then I can start again and notice the difference. So you see it's really smooth now, just like any drawing program. So uh, one other thing I want to do is I want to increase the uh, width, uh, border width of the rectangle. So for that I can just uh, create a new pen with the, my own uh, custom width. So I create new pen and I wanted to be blue so i can just use brushes dot blue again to set the color and provide the width like maybe six pixels three pixels is good so let's try that again so awesome <laughs> so i really like that it's like this bold rectangle it really looks nice so, uh, maybe not too, uh, good for a uh, selection rectangle or uh, but uh, it's a it's nice way for a demo so can be customized or if it's part of a paint program or drawing program then you can have a tool uh, or options to set the weights of the rectangle. So that's all for the tutorial. Hope that you liked it and uh, uh, it helps you <laughs> learn something. Uh, uh, I look forward to your questions or feedback. Uh, just let me know what you think about the tutorial or let me know if you're not able to understand anything I'll try to explain or respond to you. So thanks for your time and Please like share and subscribe uh, That really helps. So see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye